ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday the 4th of September. James Spann here as we are still watching active weather in the tropics. Let's get right to it. We'll start with the water vapor satellite imagery. Early this morning, and you can see what's left of Gustav finally beginning to lift north in response to that uh, short wave digging down through the northern plain states and the moisture axis that's uh, trailing that is moving into Alabama. So shower chances are going up in the short term. And again, we're not saying it's going to rain all day today or tomorrow or Saturday, but there will be showers around and periods of rain. And probably in the next three days, the better chance will be tomorrow. Today, the better chance most likely on the western side in terms of the severe weather threat, by golly, there's still a slight risk of a few isolated tornadoes in the spiral bands around Gustav from uh, near Jackson, Tennessee, back up toward Indianapolis. All that will stay north of here. Don't expect any severe weather problems here. And then tomorrow, a slight risk over the Atlantic coast as Hannah approaches. And also a slight risk over parts of the Texas panhandle and the adjacent parts of New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Colorado. QPF map, and again, you can see the dual tracks of Gustav and Hanna. Heaviest rain from Gustav from uh, near St. Louis all the way up to northern Michigan. That includes Chicago. And uh, Hanna's rains will be impacting the coast from all, all the way from Charleston up to the Canadian Maritimes. And uh, we're kind of in between all of that. But again, we definitely will see a few showers around in coming days. Tropical weather, well, there you go. Count them out there. Let's see. you got uh, one, two, three, four, just like ducks on the water. Uh, of course, Gustav is inland. Then you've got, uh, in order, from west to east, Hannah, Ike, and Josephine. Hannah is a pretty broad storm, but it's not particularly well organized. The uh, circulation center is really south of that convection. Uh, the modeling in pretty good agreement. Brings the thing up toward the coast of the Carolinas, and then it uh, parallels the east coast of the United States. And the track from the Hurricane Center, very similar. Landfall is a Category 1 hurricane expected near the uh, border of the Carolinas, really around Wilmington. And then it uh, hooks on to the uh, northeast. We've got a uh, hurricane watch up this morning for the coast of the Carolinas and a tropical storm watch down into the coast of Georgia, but... Again, I think George and Florida is off the hook on this one. Hey, 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 Ike. That thing ramped up into a major hurricane last night. Maximum sustained winds, 145 miles per hour. That's a Category 4 moving west-northwest at 17. Modeling in very good agreement. And note the models bend it to the north at the end of the forecast period. In response to a uh, deepening trough over the central and eastern U.S., and again, confidence is high, this will not be a Gulf of Mexico storm. Is it guaranteed? Of course not. But we feel pretty confident that it will not be a bother for us. The track follows the models, runs it right up through the Bahamas by Monday night with that northward turn beginning. And, of course, uh, Miami's in that uh, cone of uncertainty there, but... We'll take a look at the GFS in just a moment. Uh, Josephine out there in the far eastern Atlantic, kind of having a hard time with uh, hostile upper air winds and cooler water, and the track from the Hurricane Center is just a persistent track off to the uh, west-northwest. And, again, that's way out there. We'll watch it in coming days. Here's the GFS at noon today. Nice trough digging down across the uh, nation's heartland, and that's picking up Gustav. Down below that, Gustav at midday today should be somewhere just uh, southeast of St. Louis. Heavier rain up toward Chicago, but again, that moisture axis beginning to move into West Alabama. That's suggesting the uh, better chance of showers today will be west of I-65. And there's Hannah down in the Bahamas. Tomorrow, the moisture axis is over us, uh, trailing Gustav. So again, we'll mention a few periods of rain. Hannah approaching the uh, Atlantic coast, and then Saturday, Hannah is in on the journey northeast. And again, Hannah should be making landfall as a Category 1 somewhere around the border of the Carolinas and begin maybe around Wilmington. And we note on Saturday the moisture axis be beginning to shift on down to the south from Gustav. We'll still mention a chance of showers Saturday, but it looks like the northwest corner of the state could be dry. And then Sunday, everybody's dry. 
as uh, Hannah moves on out toward the Canadian Maritimes. And there's Ike in the picture. Monday of next week, where dry Ike begins the north turn way before the Gulf. And then Tuesday, just wanted to show you the trough there in the upper levels moving through the uh, northeast United States. And that's expected to take Ike and uh, uh, keep it from being a Gulf storm. There's a look at Tuesday down at the surface. Ike is well east of uh, uh, Daytona Beach. Wednesday, Ike is beginning to move northeast. The bottom line is the GFS does not show a United States landfall with Ike. Uh, now, the, you know, we've seen other times where it's been really close to the coast, so we'll see. And then uh, Thursday, Ike is on the way out. We stay dry. Uh, Friday, a week from tomorrow, pretty good-looking uh, trough digging down there and uh, got a nice batch of moisture with that. And then the next day, the uh, 13th, that looks pretty wet, doesn't it? So that might be our next really big rain event is out there around uh, mid-month. And at the end of the period on the 19th of uh, September, Westerly still a little north of here, and that uh, looks pretty quiet. Still waiting on that first good cold front of the fall season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video uh, this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Friday, and God bless.